have a customer who says, I need to install blinds on my back door. How do I keep them from swaying back and forth when we open and close the door? Which is a great question, huh? Yes, that is a good question. Um, I have a customer actually called recently and they were in a windstorm and the blinds were not secured to the bottom and they got ripped completely off the rack. Oh my gosh. It's, yeah, it was terrible. So we got him set up with some with some tie downs. So you do have options. You can do tie downs and some manufacturers will actually send Velcro. So depending on how windy of an area you live in, you want to really um, put that into play as far as choosing that option. Um, talk with the design consultant if you are unsure of what you will need, because typically once a shape is ordered, um, you cannot add tie downs after the fact because it is actually manufactured into that bottom rail, uh, bun little bungee cords, that, that kind of thing. So uh, if you are unsure of you know, what strength you'll need, just contact us, we'll let you know. That's a great point. So the tie downs are really good for outdoor shades. Um, those will install like into the ground or into the base of your post. We also have for inside doors, like if you've got like a back patio door that maybe has a window on it, um, they're called hold down brackets. And again, they're similar to tie downs in that you need to make sure you order them when you are ordering your product because I don't know if you can see these here, but these will install into your wall here with this screw hole. And then they'll actually put pins on the ends of your bottom rail for your blinds. And those will just clip right in to your hold downs. So then it won't um, move, it'll stay pretty stationary. So there you have it, tie down and hold down brackets.